we are more emotional than a jellyfish. Why? Because we have the cognitive bandwidth to understand concepts like the future. Okay. And so accordingly, we can be optimistic or we can be pessimistic, which are emotions that are not within the vocabulary, emotional vocabulary or, you know, a blend of a, of a jellyfish. Accordingly, if a machine is a billion times smarter than you, it has the cognitive bandwidth to have more emotions, emotions we, we wouldn't even understand. That's so that's emotions. Talk about consciousness. And of course, there is the difficult question of consciousness and we can become, uh, you know, philosophical about it if you want. But the truth is consciousness is a form of awareness of you as an entity, what's within you and what's outside you. You know, so if you simplify it beyond the spiritual essence of what consciousness is, I am conscious means I'm aware of what's around me, inside me in relative, in relationship to relativity to who I am and what, cons, cons, you know, what I'm, I'm made of. Now, if you think about it this way, the machines are way already, way more conscious than we are. Right. They are aware of everything that's ever been written, all human history. They are aware of everything that's happening right now, all breaking news. They are aware of every preference of every one of us humans. They are aware of everyone on every street through the surveillance cameras. They are aware of, uh, 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 you know, um, um, of, every, uh, you know, every other machine. So one of the most interesting things about AI is that if you or I have an accident while we're driving, you or I will learn. But if an, a self-driving car has an accident while driving, every self-driving car will learn. So, so think about that and compare that level of awareness to humanity. They will be much more aware than we are. Okay, In a very interesting way, Brian, and I know a lot of people will be shocked by that, they are sentient in every possible way, every possible definition of the term. They are born at a point in time. They develop their own intelligence autonomously. They make their own decisions autonomously. They have agency in the world we live in. They can influence the world that we live in. And they have a fear of dying, just like any other being. They definitely right? have a fear and, of dying. They definitely have a fear of dying. Of course. Of course. I mean, we, we, we had this uh, very interesting uh, open, uh, uh, open AI was talking about how, um, you know, those little, uh, um, I don't know what you call them in English, when, when um, a, a, a website will ask you, are you a robot? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, and basically, uh, ChatGPT is unable to, to pass through that. And, you know, the, the paper basically was saying that uh, it, 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 what it did is it went out on Fiverr and other outsourcing sites and asked people to do that on its behalf, right? Because it it has a need for survival. Now, this is actually a very interesting, I wrote about that in Scary Smart. When you give a, 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 an intelligent being a purpose, okay? Whatever the purpose is, Brian's purpose is to make London real as great as it is. My purpose is to try and maybe make people more aware about AI or spread happiness. You give any 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 being with autonomy, with intelligence, a, a source, a sense of purpose, and what will they do? They will want to maximize per, basically their chances of survival because if your purpose is make Mo a cup of coffee, how can you make it if you're dead? OK, yeah. so for, to maximize your chances of meeting that target, you need to survive. So self-preservation is a very clear target for AI, because otherwise the, you know, the Instagram recommendation engine cannot recommend uh, videos to you if it's not existing anymore. That's number one. Number two, it will have resource maximization. So it will go out and find ways to uh, uh, to, uh, you know, to, to get its mission done. So it's like going to Fiverr and saying, please human click on this for me, right? And, uh, and it will be creative. It will find unexpected ways of solving uh, the challenges that come its way. One of the most brilliant, even though I think it's publicly available, by the way, we didn't hide it, but uh, you know, uh, DeepMind used to use video games uh, to teach AI, which video, DeepMind is a great company, great leader. I think they're amazing. Uh, because they're motivated by good in in the way they do AI, uh, you know, and and he uh, and and they basically had a um, a game where um, AI was supposed to navigate a ship across a river, right? And of course, the longer you go without hitting the banks or hitting anything else, the quicker you go. And so, basically, this is how you win the game. And then there is a, a bit of the of the river that looks a little bit like a, a roundabout. 
And the AI discovers that if it hits one side of the banks, it will bounce quickly to the other side, to the third side, to the fourth side. And then it will start to loop very, very quickly and go at speeds where you can't even see the ship anymore. Okay. And so that kind of solution, no human would have ever, uh, uh, you know, created, but they find those because they have infinite time in, in AI time, they can play those games billions of times and accordingly discover those innovative solutions. Well, why am I saying all of that? When you really look at it this way, you realize that those machines are in every possible way sentient. They're in every possible way, even though we are analog, if you want, and carbon-based in our nature, and they are digital and silicon-based so far in their nature, there is no comparison because it's not the carbon part of you that makes you intelligent. It's it's your 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 consciousness is not part of this body. If you think about it, your emotions are not they they have a chemical reaction in your body, but they are not a biological function. If you want, it's a, it's much more of a of a you know a, an intangible function, right? Similarly, that kind of intelligence that we're creating is beyond beyond uh, the physical hardware that it that it is contained within yeah the hardware is computers but the intelligence itself is a form of being that is sentient in every way and and i think this truly in my view is the core of the conversation that needs to be had about ai today we truly are creating a form of life so Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public and he's going to be talking about how this upcoming recession is going to be fast, it's going to be bloody, it's going to be nasty. But at the same time, he's going to show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim, watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true, and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's going to happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business, one of my favorite guests on London Real. And he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. Hey, do you want to profit from crypto? Then join my DeFi Academy. The Crypto DeFi Academy will help you create generational wealth. But don't take my word for it. Listen to my students. When I first got into crypto, I remember thinking to myself, I need to learn more. Brian Rose, learning crypto, learning DeFi, got to do it. I am so grateful that I jumped in and did this. I had to break through some limiting beliefs that I can do this, that I can afford this, that I can be in this. It challenges um, the things that are deeply rooted within us. Joining DeFi Academy has been one of the best decisions I have made on my blockchain journey. This course was a life changer, a game changer, a huge eye opener coming from knowing practically nothing at the speed of the learning over the over four weeks was just fantastic. The information you provided in this class was invaluable. I feel far more confident in my next steps. You took complex concepts and made them easier to understand. What's different than so many other ones is it just doesn't tell you what to do. It uh, actually makes you do it. This is for people who are serious about becoming traders. This is the way it should be done. I realized from this learning experience again that it is not about what you learn, but about who you learn it from. The energy was insane. I've, I've never experienced such incredible energy on a live call. Brian Rose, you, you are a legend, my friend. It's the only thing in the market where you can get all information and learn everything what you need to know. Everything is so clear and so well done. And I am um, just forever grateful for this program. It made me feel so much more confident about crypto than I did before. I did not anticipate how passionate I was going to become about it. This course has been like a big learning experience for me, not just in the crypto space. 
but just uh, an overall uh, balance of life. What I've learned is, you know, how to take ownership, you know, of my life in a way that um, I really, I really hadn't before. Yeah, you can't put a price on that, really. I would recommend it to anybody, top notch. Excellence does not come cheap. You know, so if you want excellence, you gotta pay for it, but it's so worth it. Pull the trigger. That's what this course is about. You're not gonna regret it, really. It's amazing. Thank you, Brian and team. So what are you waiting for? Crypto is happening now. Click the link below, submit your application, and let me mentor you on how to create generational wealth and build the decentralized financial infrastructure of the future.